This is Lecture 5 in the FOA series on Premises Cabling. In this lecture, we'll cover UTP wiring and installation practices. Most UTP cable is purchased in boxes that it contains about 1,000 feet, 300 meters, and the cable is installed by pulling directly from the box. Remember to never pull the cable out of the box before installing it. It will tangle. We've seen people pull it out down a hallway just to see if they have enough. But then they, when they try to actually install it, the tangle, the coiling up that occurs, makes it impossible to install. You can also buy it on reels. If you buy it on reels, be sure to put the reels on spindles on a carrier, which you can get, and use it to spool it off the spindle directly, not off the side of the spool. Remember the maximum pulling tension for UTP cable is only 25 pounds. Putting much pulling tension on it will destroy the locations of the, of the pairs within the cable and may affect crosstalk. The same is true for kinks. If you kink the cable, especially around corners, the first thing that happens is it affects the crosstalk and return loss performance of the cable. Cable should be installed in special cable trays or hooks designed to prevent kinks or tight bends. You cannot lay the cable in ceiling tiles or grids. You have to use cable trays or J-hooks. The special J-hook shown on the right is wide to prevent kinking of the cables. Don't lay cable bundles in wire hooks without doing it very carefully so that the pressure on the cable doesn't cause it to kink. And don't overload trays or hooks and don't lay lots of copper cables on top of fiber optic cables because that can cause problems with the fiber. Cables should be installed in a neat and workmanlike manner. Good installations look good. And remember that all penetrations of firewalls or floors have to be fire stopped. You can see in the picture on the right that the floor penetrations are fire stopped while the penetration on the wall on the right is not because it's not a firewall. It's simply a fa false wall in the telecom closet. To attach a pull rope or a pull tape to a UTP cable, you can either take a single cable and simply form a loop out of the cable itself to attach the pulling rope, or on bundles of cables, the best way to do it is to tape the bundle into one large section and then attach the pull rope through the loose cables at the far end of the taping and then tape over again at the end. That way it can be pulled easily without tangling with other things in its way. If you're pulling cable and conduit, be careful not to damage the cable on the end of the conduit, which is typically cut with a hacksaw. You can get special nylon bushings that slip on the end of the cable and are used to prevent abrasion on the cable when you're pulling it. If you're pulling a long distance, use lubricant to reduce the friction and make short pulls through intermediate boxes in the conduit. When you bundle the cables, be careful with cable ties. If you tighten them too tight, it can cause crosstalk failure. Don't use cable tie guns to just hand tighten the cable ties and cut off the ends to prevent someone from coming back in the future and tightening them with a gun. Preferably use the hook and loop style fasteners. They are nice because they don't put pressure on the cables and they can be reopened for adding and removing cables. You can save yourself a lot of trouble if you mark the cables to identify them and to determine how much is left in the box. Before you start pulling cable out of the box, find the distance printed on the cable and mark that on the box. And then the next time you pull cable from the box, you'll know how much is left from the thousand foot length. Always mark cables on both ends so you know how to trace them after you put them in and when you're doing termination. Simply mark a number on the cable with a permanent marker when you pull the cable, and when you finish pulling, put the same number on the far end. 
and use that as part of your documentation process. There's lots more information on installing cable on the FOA online reference guide in our textbooks. You can get more information at the FOA website www.thefoa.org.